hi all of you today we are continuing dtango section so this is the fourth session so in this section we are going to discuss about form and inserting data into the database using the form so here is the structure version dtango version 3 we are downloading this one if you are not familiar with the old section and you are watching first time this video series so you have to first you have to watch first video what we have shared with previously so i'll add that in description section so that you can visit first video and come back here here we are starting with dijango version 3 so we downloaded this one and we have to copy this and paste in this folder extracting extract here so this is here i'm using vlc code visual studio code and you have to open that folder i'm opening the project folder metro so this is the folder we have folder structure here and we have urls so we'll start with urls only so here we have sales build section for printing for printing sales so here we will take order from the customer and we'll print out the sales bill so this is the url for sales bill and it will call inside the view sales bill so we have to go there and check it out the inside the view we have a lot of familiar functions and we have sales bill here what it is taking it is going to sales bill.html form this is a template you know that here in the template section you have to go template sales bill this is sales bill so here we have a form and we have our product details product price product tax and quantity also so when it submit we have a submit button also here button so this is simple html we have a form here input type text sub total here input type unit price product name tax price product display name for company id unit price all these details are here so before form starting we can see csr of token so this is common in django forms you have to add this token otherwise what will happen is django will throw a 403 error because without token it will not allow we know that csrf means cross site request for query that means it's an attack way of attacking with using the form so and to prevent that we are using token without token we can't work on django forms so you should remember that you have to add this token after the form and others are like normal we have button here and submit button on submit it will go to the form action so here we have specified action sales bill submit this is the action page so again it's the url you know that like sales bill submit is an url it will call that url here we have url sales bill submit inside view we have a function sales bill submit again if you come to view we have function sales bill submit for id says here this is the function to sales bill submit so what it's going is is request all the details we have product detail product price everything will be there it will be inserted into the sales invoice bill and it will save and it will call the print template so this is the print out template it will call automatically so here we have a model sales invoice bill this is the main model to store sales invoice so inside the model if you go 
you can see sales invoice model this is the model it's like same like database structure we are creating so we are specifying sales invoice number invoice date this is a character field date and field customer id whose customer is the product description tax value quantity unit price amount all these details are there with sale invoice bill so this is the invoice bill table or simply it's the model in dinja word it's a model so let's start we'll debug this code and we are going to run this script as you saw as you know that you have to type python manage dot py run server so server is running come back here we have type size bill it's not that is saying we have added two times that's why so this is the layout i already described that so this is the sales bill layout it's coming from there it will start with form and token and all the other field product id product description everything is there you can see here if you type inspect here the, this is automatically generates a token so this token is for preventing attacks so it's a security related things so here we have form this is going to form action sales will submit already i said that and we have data like product id product name everything so we'll start here action paints so we have to submit this of that is Asian paint first one added second is Asian paint color we are adding color so this thing I added if you want here this is the details then any discount if you're giving percentage of discount 10 percentage so automatically 10 percentage is deducted from that this is the net price and payment method is cash so this all html only if you check this html you can easily find out what is happening here we have added input button and quantity on this so if you ask what is happening here they are in the percentage in rs so if you type for 16 so this only with the help of jquery we are doing we are fetching this value and we are minusing and adding here so that's what happening in using the jquery if you check the main.js you can see that so it's simple only already i discussed in the last video so it's easy to find out i think so if you are a little bit knowledge in jquery is enough to do these things so this is over we added the data and we are going to submit this form so if you add this submit this form what will happen it will take you to the form submit section sales bill submit view inside the view it will call to sale bill submit and all request we, we already requested with post only because here we specified form act method post you can see here post so whatever the data is we are getting requested post you will get that id for example to get this value requested div grand total it will get the grand total value there so same way we'll get product quantity div, div grand total means net amount total amount like the tax everything product description unit price product name all things will be coming there and we have sales invoice bill so based on each product id's length so how many product id here one two are there 
if you are 10 means 10 also it will insert with the help of while loop under the length is i it will start from 0 to i so if 10 means 0 first will insert second will insert third will insert fourth will insert everything will be inserted in the, the table this table with the product name product id tax even price total and this what is happening with the sales bill and it will take you to the sale print print.php this is an html only there we are sprinting the bill so let's start here i'm going to submit see simple right bill is generated here you can uh, display layout you can change i'm i'm challenging you to change layout and commit in the new layout in the video session so that you will get the confidence and i will get to know that you are learning from this so this is uh, homework for you J change everything and create invoice number product name display here product quantity and total price and your net amount everything you should be filled with values so you get it from the database using the model and you have to display here that's your task so hope you'll do that at least one person will do that thank you for listening to me see you on the next session if you like this video please subscribe thank you